If there's good news on the economy, the media will not report it. But it is there if you dig for it. The Census Bureau reports very good news, especially for those at the bottom of the income ladder. How about that? Take note, socialists. Capitalism works. In the Trump era, the poverty rate is falling fast. 1.4 million people came out of poverty. It's now at the lowest level since before the financial crisis. Single moms now have the lowest poverty rate ever recorded. In the Trump era, household income keeps going up. In the Obama years, it was stagnant. In 2018, household income reached $63,179, and that is above the highs of 2007 and 1999. We are better off. This is because in the Trump era, millions of people are going back into the labor force and earning good money. Just last year, 700,000 men and 1.4 million women found full-time work. It is amazing what economic growth does for all Americans. One more. As employment and incomes rose, inequality declined. The top income earners took a smaller slice of the income pie. This confirms the success of Mr. Trump's tax and red tape cuts. He went for growth, we got growth, and we all did better. The, this bursts the socialist bubble. The Democrat presidential candidates pound on the same theme. Create an economy that works for all of us. Well, it is working for all of us. It is Trump, not socialism, that has delivered the goods. The second hour of Varney and Company just getting started. Let's get straight at it. Tammy Bruce is with us, independent women's voice president. You heard my editorial. I think it's terrific news on the Trump economy. What say you? Uh, it, it is. And, you and know, you're we, not hearing it from anybody else. Well, you're not because it is good news. And that tells you that the state of a very small section of our political world uh, today, very solemn. I thought the president's remarks were amazing. The nature of this program, what you're reporting today, but what we report every day about the market, about capitalism, about the, you know, people being able to live their lives economically and make choices that best suit them, comes from the strength of the American people. Who we were on September 11th, who we've become, the, the, the fact that Donald Trump is the president, that we've elected a businessman, that we understand that it's the economy that sets us free, and that there are people politically who want us to be depressed. Well, we're not. We are enthusiastic. We're optimistic. We certainly are um, a sentimental people. Uh, we're romantic. And we understand that the future matters. And we see this with young people today who weren't even born, of course, when, when September 11th happened uh, and remembering the bravery and the heroism. But each day, it's about a decision to be optimistic, to know that this is who we are, the strength of who we are, the optimism, uh, and that uh, remembering that those who want us to be depressed, who look at a negative way at the economy, uh, are, are, think, cynical, are, are political, and uh, don't necessarily have an understanding still of who the American people are. Thanks so much, Tommy. Hold on for one second. Jim Awad is with us.